Howdy doody folks, so we've got another unbagging for you today which is going to be the Mark IV Space Marine Assault Squad now I've picked these up a little in advance of when I really need them so I'm letting you see what's in the kit but just don't expect to see them built anytime soon five models in the kit, so five bases and let's start from the legs up so, sculpted by Will Hayes these ones and he's taken them and changed them slightly so we've got some different poses on the legs and we've got some of the Mark IV armour with the Mark V bolts again differing poses with those bolts through the legs there which look pretty cool and then they get a nice set of grenades with here as well which uh, I will come to in a minute as to why that is particularly awesome for the bodies, let me just grab these back out of the bag. Whoa. Five different bodies in the kit now as well. One's come off the sprue. So let's focus in here. So the rivets across the stylized bits there. A little bit of skull detailing, some small rivets, a plain plate, and a little Aquila, which of course you know I'll be shaving off. Um, doesn't have the normal Mark IV cross piece on there because it's not attaching a power pack, it's attaching a jump pack at the back and it has these lovely bands under the shoulder here which you tend to see on um, Artificer armour more than anything else but very nice alternative bodies to use you get a sprue cast with five hands holding chain swords, three left and two right and they are the standard sort of space marine chain swords, nothing too special about them unlike the other kits where you get hands cast and then you get the swords cast on a separate thing these are all together you have a five sprue of bolt pistols so three right, two left so it balances out with the swords You have shoulder pad sprues, which are Mark IV sprues with iron armour plating around the top, which is pretty cool. As you can see, a couple of those have fallen off. You also have some little individual pads with the Mark IV trim and the Mark V plates combined in together, so that's, that's pretty cool. You get a sprue with some packs and items across them like that which I think is uh, pretty nice, pretty nifty and will serve well. The arms cast on two sprues. <coughs> Excuse me, two sprues. Um, not a great deal of um, variation in them but I'm guessing they'll work well I can always tweak them as I need to we have another set of shoulder pads and these five are just standard mark four pads we have some empty pistol holsters which I think is a beautiful touch I really like those and especially as this one has the grenade harness on it so that these, these are definitely, definitely going to be used on the models. We have the heads, which have some lovely alternate sculpts on them. So the piping coming around to a vertical slit there. Fairly standard, fairly standard. A little bit of rivets. And then moving towards that normal speaker grill that we're used to seeing on a marine. So very nice heads for just little bits of character and conversion there. Now this is the big difference between a Mark IV Assault Marine and a Mark II, Mark III, Mark IV, oh well, yeah, Mark II, Mark III or even a Mark V Heresy Marine. The Mark IV packs are what you see on Sanguinary Guard. They're the ones that have the, the big backpack, the main thruster in the middle and these little sort of adjustment thrusters at the side. So uh, Sanguinary Guard from Blood Angels, obviously being the elite of the elite and the holiest of the holy relics. 
will have the most advanced and up-to-date jetpacks ever created for the Great Crusade, because that was the whole thing of Mark IV. Mark IV was supposed to be the epitome of the Space Marine technology. So, nice little bit of character, something a bit different. And I've got two packs of these because I'm using them to make a Legion Destroyer squad. I'm going to take it up to a 10-man squad, equip them all with jetpacks. Two people in that squad can take missile launchers. Yes, jetpacks and missile launchers equipped with an item called a suspenser web so they can move and shoot, albeit at half range, but they treat them just as an assault weapon at half range. And they're equipped with rad missiles. And two bolters each. So, jump packs, two bolters each, so they have the gunslinger rule, and um, two missile launchers in there with rad missiles, thank you very much, and phosphex bombs, very, very, very nasty bits of kit. Um, so, I'm looking forward to building these, but it's a, it's an after Istvan project, these guys are going on the shelf, way at the back of the to-do list. So, that is your Mark IV Assault Marines from Forge World. Beautiful little kit, nice little variations on the themes there. And uh, yeah, well worth buying guys, well worth it. Speak to you soon, chat to you later. Bye.